So I'm gonna have to go in and like freehand all that detail. You just freehand with your machine to skin? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna marker it. I'm just taking that ink right to the skin and making it up as I go. Jesus. I'm just gonna like use my brain power to make up this texture that's inside all of the flowers. You're so badass. coming out. We have two amazing artists who are ready to do some awesome tattoos for you guys. You psyched? <laughs> On this side, representing Las Vegas, we have Mr. Ton Chingon. <laughs> On this side, we have the winner of season eight Ink Master, Ryan Ashley. <laughs> All right, we're gonna need your help. At the end of these tattoos, we need you to help decide who's gonna be the winner of the Angel Face Off. <laughs> yeah! Okay, guys, you have six hours. And your time starts now, let's do this. This is a huge opportunity to prove that I have what it takes to be an ink master. Now we mean business. I'm doing a phoenix, and I'm gonna pack a lot of color into the tattoo. That's something I know that Ryan isn't gonna be doing. You have to place it perfectly around your other tattoos. We're showing a dark, decaying skull that's slowly shifting into this beautiful face. It looks like it was supposed to be there. Yeah. It flows so nice. Not only is this subject matter my exact wheelhouse, the style of the tattoo is what I love to do. Tone better be ready to compete. All right, let's do this. I think the tone went a little bit over his head, calling out Ryan. He caught the ink master. He did. I didn't think he would do it. <laughs> Some big ones to go after her. I'm wondering if he chose color as a strategy to go against her because she doesn't do too much color. Yeah. So that might be the trick that works for him. Two hours, you guys. Two hours. You don't do this every day? No, I don't really do Japanese at all, dude. Did she ask for this style? She didn't really have a style in mind. I want to know why he decided to do Japanese if he doesn't normally do it, when this is the final tattoo. Why not go with what you know the best? What I'm concerned with is the design. The feathers come out of nowhere. My concern with Ryan's is that it's pretty busy in the background. It's not as readable as I want it to be. Well, you know, she can still go in and add those mid-tones and those light tones where I feel like they need to be. There's time enough for them to both pull out awesome tattoos, yeah. but that also means there's time enough for them to screw it up. Tattooing in my hometown, in front of all my homies, my peers, people I work with, guys I've known for years. Ah, I got one little spot right here. Sharpen them up. I'm definitely feeling like I have the hometown advantage. So I was thinking about doing some like little cloud work, some dark, some light. We'll see. I know Tony well. I'm not really sure what the deal is with the Japanese. If I was going to go against her and I don't do Japanese every day, is that what I would do? I mean, she's got a 100% rendered drawing right in front right. of her. This is pretty crazy. All right, 30 minutes. Home stretch. Ryan is yeah. amazing. Mm, no, and she's, she does it with just ease. Look at those have eyes. You seen? Like that tattoo is staring back at you. It's, it's like, alive. It's alive, yeah. yeah. And, and that's how I work, feel the about the work. Phoenix. The lines are so straight. He shades yes. amazingly. Tone has Ryan. my vote. Ryan. 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 If I could vote 100 tone. times, it would be 100 so times for Ryan. So you're Ryan, 100%. Yeah. Oh, man. I just lost power completely. Did somebody step on the floor or something? Tone, I just lost power for a sec. For real? My turned off, yeah. Yay. <laughs> I have a chance. Should I stop too? No. I don't need you to stop for me to beat you. 
I know that Las Vegas is his city, but this type of competition is my home turf. And there you go. It always happens when you least expect it. I'm gonna put up a good fight. Five, four, three, two, one. That's Ooh. it, time's up, stop tattooing! Ooh. I think you got this one, no so. doubt. Yeah, oh yeah. My tattoo should be Ryan's because it's very readable, it's big, it's bold. I really, really love it. And I won. Hello, Ink Master season 10. You did such a good job, you really did. I absolutely love this tattoo. I really don't think that tone can be me. All right, you guys, come take a look at these tattoos because voting is open now. I don't even have words for it, it's amazing. It's dope. Wow. It's kind of like death into life. That's exactly what we were going for. It's hard not to root for Ryan because the imagery that she chose is just beautiful. It's stunning. So great. Thank you. I think Tone's tattoo is better because it has a lot of contrast and detail, and it's really bright. Tone all the way, 100%. We're doing all right. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. Big decision. Definitely want to see Tom bring his A game. If you're looking at the tattoo, it's beautiful. You know, you got the colors in there, the background was very nice, but when you zero in, sure. you missed a few spots, man, and those spots were crucial. I noticed a lot of imperfections in the line work. You have to nail every single line. We can't see little spots where the lines are incomplete and it's not there. With Ryan's tattoo, it's very clean, very soft, very smooth. I didn't personally like the design, but the attention to detail as far as those little cracks in the skull and the way she worked her lines, it was, it was too clean to dispute it. Like, there was nothing you could take away from it. Thank you. Pretty sure, bro. Thank you so much. Tone pulled out a very beautiful tattoo. It's readable, it's solid, it's a phoenix, and there's no questioning that. There was a lot of errors when you looked up close. His line work, he did have lines that went into those open wind bars. There is a part where the tail meets the body where you're Doesn't literally looking connect. through it. It was anatomically incorrect. They're both two totally different tattoos. The styles and everything is gonna come down to the technical application. With Ryan's tattoo, you can see that it's a lady face, but you gotta get in there to really see yeah. what's happening. There was so much dark swirling around everything that when you step back from it, it was kind of hard to read. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing about that face and that skull that isn't anatomically incorrect. incorrect. It is solid and it is beautiful. And with or without lines, the application is flawless. The shading was smooth, the black where it was black was solid, there's barely any irritation or redness. If anyone knows how to put in an absolutely beautiful black and gray tattoo, it's yeah, gonna it's, be Ryan. It seems like we came to a decision. This one's unanimous. Yeah. Let's let them know. The votes have been tallied, and collectively, the Angels have voted for Ryan Ashley. In the crowd, you guys voted. For Tone Chingon. And our local artists, Harry and Infamous, voted. And they voted for. Ryan Ashley. That means the winner of the Angel Face-Off is Ryan Ashley. I am shocked that I didn't win. You did a great job. It was the <laughs> hardest decision we've ever had to make, for sure. I think Ryan did a really solid tattoo, but my tattoo was a stronger tattoo. amazing artists doing some great tattoos today. On our right, we have Scientific from Baltimore. And over on our left, we have the winner of season eight, Ink Master, Ryan Ashley. At the end of this tattoo, we need your help. All of you are going to vote for the tattooer that you think did the best. Ryan, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. 
scientific. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, then let's do this. Your time starts now. I want to be Ryan Ashley so bad so I can get on the season 10 Ink Master so the rest of the world can see what I'm capable of. Don't move. That's it. It's all coming back. Flashbacks of that intensity and feeling that pressure again. And so it begins. My reputation is at stake. All right, ready? Ready. So who do you think is going to win? Ryan's no slouch. Our boy's got some work ahead of him. But he wouldn't pick her without a strategy of mine. No, I think he picked her out of ego. He got to bring it home, man. All right, guys, three hours. I feel like the shading is very one note for scientific. I like Ryan's because of the dimension. Yeah, right now I would say Ryan's is my favorite. Baltimore Pride. Kind of scientific. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, I'm cursing you out under here, right? Yeah, it's okay. I'm just covering my mouth so they can't see it. Oh, I can't do too much more. This right now. I can't tell if my canvas is crying because of the emotional ties to the tattoo or the pain of the tattoo. Does it hurt? All right, give me a second. If my canvas can't send through this, I'm out of here. I'm just having a moment right now. All right, give me a second. If my canvas can't send through this, I'm out of here. You are so red. Why are you so red? I don't know. You're not allergic to anything, are you? Not that I know. Your skin's really irritated. I am totally freaking out. Every single time I lightly brush my needle against his skin. He just flames up, turns red. There's a live crowd. I am the champion of Ink Master. I can't put out a tattoo like this. He's turning like a really intimidating, like I've never seen it before, maybe kind of red. And it's gonna heal fine. It's gonna be what I want it to be, but I need it to be that today. Yeah. I really think it has a lot to do with the legibility. At first, I thought that Ryan's tattoo was a little bit more readable, but then I checked it out a couple minutes ago. I found that there's a lot of darkness. I think Scientifics is way stronger. I'm really rooting for him. There's no significant better tattoo right now, I feel like. I really like Ryan's design a lot. You can definitely see it's a little bit more defined. His tattoo, it's kind of hard to read. It's the lack of contrast, and there's no clear defining of what is what. Ryan's is unreadable because of the redness. His is unreadable because of his choices. Oh, <laughs> FYI, the tattoo looks immaculate. You did an incredible job. Thank you, but I'm not done. I'm just tweaking stuff now. OK, guys, 30 minutes left. With your skin type, what's happening is with gray wash, it's like a very, very thin brushing of the ink into right. the skin. And when that happens, your capillaries burst. They're like tiny little blood vessels under your skin. And you see it because the gray wash is transparent. Oh. So that's why I'm confident that it's going to look awesome. It's just your skin's going to hate us today. All right, guys, help me out here. Let's count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. No more tattooing. <laughs> Man, this is an awesome tattoo. My technical application is great. I have no redness in the skin. Man, I'm packing my bags for season 10 Ink Master right now. Looking at Scientific's tattoo, the application is perfect. Her skin looks barely irritated at all. I am terrified. I don't know how it's going to go. All right, you guys, we're going to open up the floor. Take a look at these tattoos, because voting is now open. You really did an amazing job. Thank you very much.
better sit. There's so much more detail in it, Sean. That's amazing. I actually voted for a scientific myself. I wanted to make sure I gave my support, you know, for a guy I've seen around town before. In the bottom right, you see the crown of thorns? Yeah, the yeah. more you look yeah. at it, the more yeah. you see right. all the things yeah. in it. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is immaculate. Thank you. Like, it's a very emotional piece. It is. That's what I wanted. Not to take away anything from Scientific, that work was beautiful, and I would go to him for art any day, but I had to give to Ryan. You look at the art, you can see the emotion. So what'd you think? Ryan just hard to judge. You want to be able to recognize a tattoo from a distance. Absolutely. Because of the redness, being so intense, it was hard to read. I know it was extremely bright red, but you know that it's going to heal just fine. Yeah, it, it, that's true. It'll be super soft, but scientific tattoo. Monochromatic all the way across, yeah. and there was no shade and depth to it. It's hard to read what's in the foreground. Absolutely. But on the other hand, too, did you see the face? The veil over top? Yeah. The face was yeah. great. They're both both solid tattoos. We're gonna have a really hard decision. Do you think you have somebody in mind? I'm not set, but I'm yeah. leaning. Yeah. All right. What do you think? Ryan's tattoo is obviously incredibly red and irritated, but I feel like it was much more dynamic. I'm not debating Ryan's had more style. It obviously did because right. she drew it from right. scratch. However, this isn't a competition to judge if you can draw. Both tattoos are lacking so much contrast. Yes, there's a lot of black. See, I disagree. I don't tones. think that Scientific's had enough black. He didn't make the choices on where to put black to make the most impact in separating the two figures. His anatomy was also really wrong. That's that true. That chest, he defined a splayed rib cage and then abs underneath. It almost looks like he's wearing an exoskeleton. Yeah. Like, I don't remember like the shirt. Bible that well. Did Jesus have an exoskeleton? I don't know. I don't think so. No. But scientific defined those faces a little bit more than Ryan did in that angel. That face is so not detailed. This is really tough because we have one vote, and the local artists get one vote. And then the crowd, collectively, they get one vote. So it could go any direction. All right, you guys. The votes are in, and it was a very difficult decision for us, and I'm sure it was a very difficult decision for you, because these are two absolutely beautiful tattoos. I'm happy. It's unanimous. And the winner of the final face-off is... Ryan Ashley. Definitely sweating for a minute. Baltimore brought the heat. I love it, I love it. Oh yeah, I can't be mad. I might not have beat an angel, but I'm still happy because I gave my canvas a great tattoo. Oh, oh. Dude, you were awesome. awesome. And a very big thank you to the city of Baltimore. I'm still the best in Baltimore, and I'm sure the other angels are glad I didn't pick them. Amazing artists ready to do some incredible tattoos. Yeah. On this side, we have Jimmy Butcher. Yeah. And on this side, we have Ink Master Season 8 winner, Ryan Ashley. Yeah. And at the end of this tattoo, you guys get to vote on which tattoo you like best. Yeah. Okay, you have hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Honey, it looks good. Pressure is on. Jimmy is an amazing artist, but I'm gonna show Jimmy that I can do really perfect, intricate line work, the same line work that Jimmy specializes in. 
because it's exactly the perfect technique for this canvas. The higher the contrast of the image, the more readable this image is going to be. If I could go in and do this tattoo and approach it as Jimmy would approach it, I'm gonna beat this kid at his own game. I'm trying to use like really, really, really clean, clean, clean black lines. It looks pretty close to Jimmy's style, the way it's sculpted. Oh yeah, that was on purpose. So I'm gonna try to beat Jimmy at his own game. I'm choosing to do black and gray. I'm not sure I would say it's my strongest style, but it's what I am drawn to doing for a memorial tattoo. I kind of came into this thinking you were going to do your kind of sketchy illustrative stuff, and I'm seeing something I honestly didn't even know that you were awesome at. <laughs> it's definitely showing that you're a little bit more well-rounded. Try it. <laughs> you only have four precious hours left. I lost all the detail in my stencil. My canvas has such a dark skin tone that when a lot of the stencil wipes away, I can't really see what's going on. So it looks like she's losing her stencil. In this setting, in this environment, it is nerve wracking when you lose that road map. Now I have to freehand this tattoo. I have basically one shot to get it right because there's no eraser tool on the back of the tattoo machine. Do you think she's gonna be able to like, pull it through? I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna have to go in and like freehand all that detail. You just freehand with your machine to skin? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna marker it. I'm just taking that ink right to the skin and making it up as I go. Jesus. I'm just gonna like use my brain power to make up this texture that's inside all of the flowers. You're so badass. What else do we need to do? I'm looking at this tattoo and I'm not sure if I need to add things or if I need to stop. How are you doing? Are you, are you done? No. I wanted to step away from it though so I could look at it with I, fresh I did eyes. Twice. Brian's tattoo is awesome. It's really, really high contrast, and I'm questioning whether my tattoo has enough. You feeling the pressure, Jimmy? Yeah, a lot. Hey, I heard you'd like to build the walls. Hey, I heard your words divide us all. We can stop this calm and storm. So good to know that I've done this for my brother and for my family. You guys are all together now. Oh, I love it. <laughs> This is a moment we've all been waiting for. Voting is officially open. Let's check out these tattoos, guys. Detail work. Thank you. Thank you so much. I voted for Ryan because the amount of black really makes it pop off the skin, and the intricate details are amazing. The detail, you made it look like the bird had muscles. Thank you. I'm voting for Jimmy Tattoo because the detail, the shading, one picture that you look at and you see it as a whole, and that makes it art. With Ryan's tattoo, everything is distinct. I do like her focal point and the readability from a distance. What do you think about Jimmy's? I'm really digging the realism that he put in his tattoo. Very delicate and smooth gray. They're both great tattoos. It's going to be a tough choice. 
It is crazy seeing how soft and fluffy Jimmy was able to make his tattoo. But if you want to get down to the nitty gritty on it, the dove's anatomy is completely out of proportion. Yes. One of the doves has no head. So apparently the head is down. I had to look at the reference to be able to tell, and that's yeah. definitely a problem. I definitely think that Ryan steps outside of her comfort zone. She knew how to not put too much detail in the flowers. I kind of with Kelly on this, mm -mm. there was a couple of flowers that On the right of, side? Yeah. That, that side of the tattoo starts to get kind of hard to read. Two really beautiful tattoos overall. It's honestly just time to nitpick which one has the more unforgivable flaws. Yep. All right, Savannah, you ready to find out who won? If Jimmy can beat Ryan, then he is gonna secure a spot on Ink Master. And the decision was split. The Angels voted for Ryan. Our wonderful local crowd voted for Jimmy. And the local artists voted for Ryan. Ready to do some awesome tattoos. Are you guys ready? Yeah. On this side, we have Mike Wallace. And on this side, we have Ink Master Season 8 winner, Ryan Ashley. Yeah. And at the end of this tattoo, we're gonna need all of your help to determine the winner of this face-off. Are you guys ready? Yeah. You guys have six hours to tattoo and your time starts now. I normally don't do black and gray, but it cuts down my time because I don't have to saturate all the different blends of tones of color. What you doing over there? What do you think I'm doing? Black and gray? I'm playing smart, baby. Well, I'm trying to play smarter. Ryan specializes in black and gray, but I know who I am and I know I'm a better artist. I gotta kick ass. Instead of going in and doing really super thin, delicate lines like I normally do, I'm going in with sculpted black lines because I want this tattoo to be powerful. I want it to be bold and strong and masculine. When I was about 17, we had major, major flash flooding. My mom's car was literally picked up and swept away. Oh my God. So my mom and her husband, they got stuck in the car and the water started coming in. It went up to their waists. They had to climb a tree and they had to cling on for an hour and a half in the tree, pouring rain before anybody could find them. That's why I really understand how brave you are because you knowingly risk your own life to help other people. Thank you for sharing that. It's people like you you know, that inspire people like me. You have two hours left. Just give me all that straight, straight line to you. Kelly, I'm freaking out. What are you, I what mean, are you freaking I'm, out about? I have to make some serious choices right now. Like, what am I going to have to nix? I haven't been panicked like this in a challenge in a long time. I am nowhere near where I need to be to make sure this tattoo is 100% completed by the end of the face-off. Ryan's definitely freaking out about time. She's still struggling just to get the figure done, let alone the background. The background is the fire and 
the water is also unfinished and those are the biggest themes representing this person's story. If these important elements are missing, then she's not doing what she set out to do. Ryan, how you doing over there? You're wasting my time. <laughs> Ryan hair is all over her damn head. Ryan is sweating. I got the ink master herself over here tripping because Mike Wallace is coming for us. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's a hell of a tribute for every first responder that came out during Hurricane Harvey. Great job. Thank you, girl. Mike, I can't begin to tell you what this means to me, man. Even through all the devastation, that we can make it. You brought it and then some. Thanks, bro. No problem, man. Everybody, it is your time to shine. Voting is officially open. Let's check out these tattoos. Great yeah. job. That's yeah. phenomenal. He's the hero, really. An ambitious piece for the right. town. I felt that a couple hours in. I was like, what did I do to myself? <laughs> it looks so beautiful. Thank you. I voted for Ryan because she's really meticulous with all of her detail. Everything looks absolutely incredible. She did a fantastic job. The wave looks good, man. Thank yeah. you. My favorite is the boat. That's amazing how you made the light. Seemed yeah. like a light. Right. Good Thank work. You. Good Thank work. You. I voted for Mike because it feels like it's raging and storming. You can tell the wave is moving. I love it. It's excellent. Clearly, I can see a struggle with Ryan's. You can see where the time went. The saint itself is beautiful. Those are nice, clean lines and they're way bolder than she normally does, but it works. The problem with it is I can't really tell that the fire is actually fire. It's the background elements that I'm not that happy with. Mike's is all background in an itty bitty little tiny lighthouse. And the same- Mike's kind of lighthouse is beautiful. I love those little stones at the bottom of the lighthouse, but it's a small fraction of the total tattoo. Both of these tattoos have kind of similar problems with the background, but we have to weigh which focal point is rendered better. It's not going to be easy. All right, Houston, are you ready to find out who won? And remember, if Mike beats Ryan, he will earn a spot on Ink Master. And the decision was unanimous. The winner of the Angel Face-Off is... Ryan Ashley. I'm sad because I thought I won. Because I did a great-ass tattoo and my was amazing.